Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Expert Iron Man blind playthrough of the game where I'm trying to beat the game and all of its content on the highest difficulty without knowing anything in advance. And we're nearing the end slowly but surely. Um, we're a bit short on Valor points but I think I can still manage. Should have potentially upgraded that bit stupid from my end um, yeah because I've now eaten a lot of uh, unique food let's see if we can uh, see that we always will start with uh, surprise indoors which is important strength plus 20 dexterity plus 20 critical hit plus 10 increased movement and maximum valor even increased by two which is fan fucking tastic so it is time to go into Drombok's uh, tomb and have our sweet sweet revenge against uh, the king this time i brought two bears uh, so there is no excuse for not tanking him the right way and if my memory serves me well this is exactly where things went very very much dire the last time so we are going in Before we're being before we're being ambushed I think I want one of my tanks also to wear that so we do have two light sources which is good uh, anything else that we need to equip uh, yes the angler which gives him more than 15 willpower i don't want to lose anyone in this fight can't take a second bow with us that's okay anything else that i've forgotten i think we're actually good the creeper king Okay, the last time it really didn't go in our favor. So I'm pretty sure the Creeper King is in the middle here. Let's put all of them on one side. One bear will be standing there. This guy is standing over here. Good, Roby the third will be the first one to go in because I know that that creeper is acting immediately. And then our idea is to run in and out as and when needed. Let's begin. Let's hope I can find him, else else this is going to suck. Creeper, not whom we're looking for. Creeper King, that's the guy. Fragility. And we're starting with uh, some solid rage and uh, about uh, 350 hit points damage. Let's go, baby. Not sure if we want to cr uh, creep up like that. He has damages uh, to all units in the area and applies bleeding. That's two meters. Five meters uh, damages all units and pulls them into melee range, which we don't want. So 
he's typically doing two chaos claws and then he's pulling them all in and if an ally in range if this unit drains all of their health to heal themselves otherwise calls two creepers as backup okay well yeah okay um Um, yeah, I think we're giving everybody bravery at the beginning. It's such a potent buff. Or say a couple of people should get bravery. And orderly. Oh, he retaliates. How is that even possible? We don't want to stand too close to him. Already learned my lesson. See, that's why you don't want to let him uh, go loose. These guys are now bleeding and are taking a lot of damage. Not clever. Hashtag very stupid. And he has nicely healed up all of the other damage. Good, so much for our support uh, team. Fantastic, well done. Let's gain a few uh, um, beta points. Okay, we're being we're being ambushed but yeah nothing that we couldn't handle we need to be close enough for this guy to hit him but we need to be able to move in and out otherwise this is not going to work galvanization definitely helps us Healing Roby the second. And now it's time for some really solid damage. A thousand from the back, that's good.
We're moving over here. Actually, over here so that we have a nice lit up area. Five hundred points of damage. Mark of Horrors is good. Roby's still standing strong. It's okay. Gotta be careful that prof uh, the professor here doesn't accidentally move in. We definitely do not want that. Move up here. Can't really see him is the problem. But thanks to Beastmaster, we're at least healing Roby a bit. Same problem over here. Roby is taking a lot of damage, but now we are in position and we got the battlefield better under control. Um, let's start with uh, some solid healing. Seven hundred, a little bit uh, more damage. And condemn, which is good. Fantastic, that brings light there, which means we can finally use our archers but it also means he has two enemies in reach now one hit Second hit, the guy is also slowed down. We're moving over. And healing for everyone, including the bear. There goes the light. Is he still weakened? Fragile bleeding, slow down. Yeah, fragility is on. More bleed. Thousand five hundred damage is good, very good. have also healed. Can't forget to heal Roby. He's taken damage. Quite a bit of damage to be entirely honest. Move up. Heal the bear.
Yep, that's some good damage. Seven thousand seven hundred still not in kill range, uh, in half hit point range, rather. Bear is taking a lot of damage. It's now down to a thousand. Now is the right call for fragility. A couple of claws from our side. That's a thousand. We're down to Berserk. Ah, he has gotten Roby. Protective collar has helped. Not quite. Next bear tank. And that's it. Good, we're okay with our Valor management. We're not okay because Roby the second died. But we have galvanization and we have a lot of damage. Okay, not too bad. Okay, damage. Problem is the guy continuously heals himself up. Good, some weakening blow. And the entirety of our arsenal. Oh no, the professor wants to go in. That is a really poor idea, professor. Please stay back. Yes, please stand back. And don't be that guy. Two thousand points of damage. It's down to two seven. Ender senders. Very solid single target DPS. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I think he's going down. Almost 200. Hundred seventy.
Ooh, there we go. What a sweet, sweet I victory. You, you fight like a soldier, scholar. By Saint Giroux, you fight like a soldier, scholar. You handle yourself just as well, Inquisitor. I thought I was watching Saint Elior herself. Ooh, will there be peace between them? Who knows? Well, we still got Roby the Third here, which I think is kind of telling. I mean, this will be the bear um, for us going forward. Oh no, the relic! Is it still in one piece? What a strange object. The eye, indeed. We believe this is how the ancients depicted the God of Light, based on writings that we managed to decipher. They already knew about the Eye's reckoning. This relic could help us stop it. Wait, what did you just say? If this relic can be used to communicate with God, then it's a sacred artifact. Mercenaries, no! It may be our only... They can't be trusted. Leaving such an artifact in the hands of heathens would only work... No, you, the scholars get it. Your decision probably saved Drombach. I promise to dedicate my life to understanding this artifact, no matter how long it takes. This is a little bit Warhammer 40k uh, inspired with all of his Inquisition texts and scrolls hammered to his I plate. I will store the relic in a safe place, as far as possible from the Inquisition. I don't have enough men left to fight you, but trust that the Inquisition will know about your sacrilege. You can count on it. Okay, not sure what we've gotten. This was a brutal fight. We lost Roby the second, which was to be expected that one bear would go down. But still, that was a hardcore fight. The others have already left. We will join them as soon as the Inquisitor is stable. Go, there is a passageway, interesting. Oh, we're going to get a lot of bruises here. Still haven't fully understood how how this works. I just want the chest. Is it that hard to get? Is this Minesweeper? I'm, I think I'm just not getting the idea of this. Maybe it's simply me trying, uh, the game trying to give you as many injuries as possible. You've gotten a valuable box. Okay, what does that even mean? Here, miscellaneous, covered in ornaments. Okay, so it's just worth 75. Which is ridiculous because I think I spend around five times that just for injuries. 
Wow. Yeah, okay, well, it doesn't matter that they are injured. We still have enough medicine left. Let's continue to explore. This is a huge tome. Good, so blue Triforce, we have figured that out already. My memory serves me well, it was, it's a while since I played it, but red TIE Fighter, blue Triforce. Um. and yellow window okay cool which i think the combination of the lock was here we had blue triforce red tie fighter and i think that's the window Good, that should uh, bring us to the actual heart, the, the fight against yet another creeper. General Mahit. Mahit. And this here looks like the Terracotta army to me. And this is potentially the final room. One, two, three, four, five. And we have a lot over here. Okay. Good, so we can nicely barricade in here. There are quite a few enemies there. Okay. Um How about a little bit of this, followed by that. Followed by that and what's read it. this and that yeah, she's even strong with uh, her uh, torch in the hand
Good. One, two, down. Putting our bear in front. Oh yeah, right there. Okay, a bit of that, and then a lot of that. three distinct flanks here. Oh boy, Jim is getting better and better. He's a machine. Galvanizing. Enemies are almost uh, wavering. Sure, I would like to skip the last battle. Reinforcements never arrived because we killed everyone beforehand. You have discovered the rune of war. Well, this tome here is different than the ones before. Typically, this is supposed to be the last room, but there is more. It's almost like someone says, wait, but there is more. Good, we know about that entrance uh, there. And we know about that entrance here. Nice, we're getting a lot of runes. This is super helpful for the actual discovery. The little tomb, uh, tomes that we're looting are all having individual signs in them, but you need to speak the runes in order to be able to, to actually use them. And with every single rune that we're learning, we're one step closer to the finish line. Now, let's see what's up here with the stairs. This has been vandalized. Doesn't mean that there, need, no, there can't be another rune. Damn it, apparently not. Okay, wait, so you're telling me I get a sweet, sweet loot without another fight? Because the door is open. Unbelievable. There we go, Treasure of the Ancients and General's Codex Part 3. Hmm. Not too bad, my friends. Not too bad. I think we've gotten out of here what we wanted. Trumba uh, tomb. 
raid it. And finally, I've uh, made my sweet, sweet revenge. Unfortunately, Roby the Second is no longer here with us to to celebrate, but it is what it is. It took us. Quite a bit, specifically medicine. But at the end, we were successful. And we leave him in his miserable state. Um, yeah, so that's one last weapon right there. And codex management, you can see we've now gotten all three of uh, these codices. And once you have deciphered them and know all of the uh, runes in them, um, it actually helps you or gives you clues. In this case, Triforce, uh, mm, Butterfly and uh, Window would be the combination for whatever, uh, mm, whatever location there is on this map. Uh, there must be some sort of secret location. I would need to look that up and find them. But there is a there would be a secret location. I've already found one here uh, per accident, the sepulchre door, and a second one down here, but I couldn't open it yet. And essentially, with uh, these doors, you get a uh, nice little extra loot and uh, trinkets, which is going to be the next thing that I'm doing after this um, after this uh, episode, because we are almost done. Yeah, you can see we can now decipher all of them. All of them are literally deciphered. Just a few missing, but I can go with two out of three symbols and uh, the last one is easy. It's just five, one of five uh, different combinations. So behind the door, what does that... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, so we've finished it. I see. That was basically the quest against uh, the Creeper King. Strong enemy. Uh, interesting enemy. And I'm a bit disappointed that we haven't really gotten um, a legendary for him. I think in all fairness, it was potentially the hardest enemy that I've fought so far. And not getting anything other than finishing the region quest here, which typically doesn't uh, give you the best re a reward, feels a bit like a miss. They could have given you a bit more. We've earned knowledge points, that's totally cool and all, but uh, I think in this version of the game we won't be able to use them fully. Oh yeah, aptitude point. Oh yeah. That's the best option if you can have it. Plus... Critical strike, because apparently that seems to be the meta nowadays. And we only need to wait a few days to get a new weapon. I wonder what kind of weapon it is. This dungeon definitely was a tough one. So getting a big fat weapon as a reward would be much appreciated. We're about to leave the castle. 
You almost missed us, missionaries. We need to go to the Celestial Mountain Gates without delay. According to our spies, they... I need you, missionaries. I need all men and women who believe the only knowledge can save us from the eye's reckoning. Let's go! Go on ahead. I'll meet you there with my soldiers. I thought we were done. How... How is this still going on? Behind the door. What, what's... We've done that. Look for scholars in the Drombok tomb. Something is a bit desync. Maybe it is the way that I'm doing the quests, but haven't we just cleared out this conflict here? Literally this very conflict. Why would you go there in order to get shafted once again? What? The gate is open. The Inquisition got in. Quickly. We have to... Okay, maybe I was wrong. And there is more to it. Nice little celestial mountain. I figure we cannot put any... Nope. We can't put anything in here. Look who's paying us a visit. Our ungodly mercenaries. I would have been most disappointed not to run into you heretics. And you, Prince Erald. I appreciate not having to hunt you down. You came willingly to confess your heresy. Don't worry. As soon as we destroy this thing, you're next. You have no idea what you're doing. This relic is our only chance to stop the ice reckoning. Your only chance. You are such a shameless liar, Prince Herald. Is that what you told the mercenaries? I had time to question your scholars. They admitted that it's this thing that brought about the wrath of the God of Light. And it can put an end to it just the same, given a little more time. The scholars you didn't slaughter will find a way. They are making great strides. My people are about to... They are about to die, just like you. As for this thing, we will destroy it to please the God of Light. <laughs> Might as well try to reason with a crocswine. <laughs> Mercenaries, you handle the fanatics. I will direct the scholars. Buy time until they disable the pillar. All right. All right. Final conflict time. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. But luckily, we are strong. I should have given her a shield by now, but okay. Good. That. And what's Reddit? Might as well do that. Bravery. Uh, can't really run to anyone, so let's just stay here. They are engaging with our bear. Okay.
Many hits are never good against the bear, my dude. You should learn that, or you should have learned that by now. Because what will happen is that the bear goes into Berserk and you don't want to see that. In the meantime, this fanatic has had his last day as a fanatic. Daily G moves up. I need a bit of AOE damage. There we go. Okay, time to move in and kill a couple of worshippers. You look like someone who wants to die. You look like someone who wants to die. And you guys stop annoying the bear, please. Good, time to hit that messenger. And now we're finally in Berserk mode. Took a while, but Berserk is ready. Jim moves to here. And we're doing a bit of a sneaky sneaky. This guy will die, and the other one is being pushed into the explosion or whatever is going to come. Whatever it is, it's going to damage him and likely kill him. Oh yeah, nice hit. Mm-hmm. There we go. Who's the heretic now, huh? Exactly. That's not the most clever position, by the way. The ice reckoning is soon coming, and I don't even want to know what that means. We're making solid progress with the relic. Enemy reinforcements coming.
They brought one zealot, and that's about it. Oh no, oh no, okay. Hmm. Dilly will be the man of uh, the hour. As this here will slow all of them down and just deal a solid F ton of damage before killing someone over here, casually moving over there and sniping that guy down. Yep, end game archers are pretty OP. I think he has just single-handedly uh, dealt with a second wave. points of damage yeah keep on going so it just absolutely critically obliterates uh, the archer and these guys are getting punished <laughs> unbelievable the damage is just absurd Once the bear is in Berserk, stops being a tank. Well, with 3,600 hit points, you could just, you cannot argue that it's no longer a tank tank, but stops being like a classical tank. And instead beca uh, becomes something else, more sinister, more damage focused. Yeah, Ender is, as always, just cleans up the house. We'll position ourselves over here. And why do you run? Oh, I hate NPCs. Yeah, so far we're pretty much ahead of the curve. Interesting, que interesting question, where will the uh, remaining enemies come from? They all come come from up there. I see. Oh, 
<laughs> oh yeah. Jim has again pretty much single handedly killed these guys. One down, two almost down. Our bear moves up, casually claws him for 300. The enemies are all coming from there. I think it's time for JP Pauly to make his way over here. And we're just standing over here in case someone is showing up. Good, our AOE clearing, like our pure DPS is just beyond uh, godlike at this point. JP, um, it was JP Pauly, it was Jim going in with a quadro hit for 700. That's some serious business. Three down, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But can't fo uh, fully kill all three because he got didn't receive a full pull. <laughs> wow, that's a uh, very very entertaining blood um, kill animation. I think we're just ending the turn. Oh, no, 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 not standing in here. Move there. Done. crazy we are killing all of them on spawn I think the party is uber optimized at this point level 10 armor looks okay but not really worth uh, taking Herald of the eyeball again also okay but none of that is a real upgrade to what I'm currently carrying 24 enemies. Find the beast's fangs, we did it. We saved the pillar, averted the eye's reckoning, defeated the Inquisition. I... Things would have ended very differently without your help. Yeah, you can say that, yeah. I thought you were nothing more than vultures in armor. But I must admit, I was wrong, mercenaries. Please accept this reward. And my most humble apologies. You can count on us to continue studying this ancient pillar. Should Alazar one day harness the power of the God of Light, the kingdom will become invincible thanks to you. 
God is playing dice is the achievement that I just received. We're still hard at work. And there isn't really anything that we can do here, but it seems that that more or less was one of the final confrontations. We're definitely done up in here. I will tell you what, I think this is a good ending to potentially the second last episode of uh, this playthrough. In the last one I will just clear up the tomb I think off camera. Uh, we're going to do a bit of a fight for Christoph Krupper and I'll showcase the other sepulchre doors and I do not think um, that um, I would want to grind um, say weapons for an ultra long time. Don't get me wrong of course a weapon upgrade here and there I could imagine that that would be uh, quite handy for instance the uh, shields uh, leveled version of the shield could uh, make sense but in reality I mean yes we would get more uh, counter attacks that would be fine but at the same time getting a 2 star level 12 shield unless I I am missing something and I just don't know how to farm that properly. I would potentially need to engage with the guards over and over and over um, in order to fight against kind of high level enemies uh, just to uh, to get that sh uh, shield and that's the same with most of the other equipment. We are simply very very well equipped at this point so uh, besides a few uh, purple weapons here and there I'm really not seeing how there is going to be so much more upgrade uh, that uh, we could find. I mean, if you look at that shield here, for instance, this in itself, the self-crafted two-slot uh, shield, is just incredibly good. So, yeah, that is that. Anyways, that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Last episode uh, will uh, follow and then we're concluding the playthrough. You can already use the opportunity to let me know how you like the game. Uh, Early Access War Tales, uh, definitely a fun one. I'll do a bit of a summary and some guides afterwards as well. Um, so if they come out before the uh, playthrough has aired, don't uh, be surprised about that. Uh, the earlier the better as they get more traction on YouTube. Thanks for watching and uh, try to slaughter that like button. It deserved it. It's a heretic. Thank you and have a good one.